Hi everybody, welcome to Live with Chaudhry. This is the first event of three that I'm attending this week. And I'm delighted to be at the AAPS National Biotechnology Conference here in Philadelphia. And I'm delighted to join by Tina Morris, who's the Executive Director and CEO for AAPS, to tell me how, well it's not day one actually, it's day one of the exhibition, but I think it's day two of it's the actual two. event. To tell me how the event's gone so far, uh, and what have been some of the highlights. So, Tina, first of all, it's lovely to see you. How are you? I'm very well, Rizwan. Thank you for coming, and thank you for making us part of your East Coast Spring Tour. Oh, uh, yeah, that's what I'll call it, East Coast Spring Tour. Thank you. I've now got a name <laughs> for it. Fantastic. Yeah, well, this is um, it's a lovely day outside of Philly, by the way, uh, We're into day two, first mm -hmm. day of the, of the exhibition, but I know the conference started yesterday. So, yeah. for people who are not familiar, though, with the National Biotechnology Conference, could you first of all tell me why do AAPS actually run this event and what's its main focus and aim? That's a great question. And um, going back to yesterday, the, the opening of, of our meeting, we had uh, Dr. Joel Dudley speak about uh, kind of the future of the field, the future of uh, where biotech and artificial intelligence, computer science, and all these things intersect. I would say uh, when you look at AAPS as a whole and you look at the calendar of our meetings throughout the year, this is the National Biotech Conference, so it's clearly focused on biotechnology products and uh, very, very heavily innovation driven. It is the part of our calendar year where we really push that envelope and it's the counterpart, if you will, the biologics sister of our FarmSci 360 meeting in the fall and as that one of the two marquee events that anchor our year as the largest attendee events uh, on the AAPS calendar. And uh, I, I know we've had conversations in the past about the four seasons of science at AAPS. So the spring is the, uh, definitely the biotechnology uh, season at, at AAPS, and this is our anchor event for it. This year, it's extremely heavily focused on innovation in the advanced therapy field. Uh, we have two tracks, um, uh, uh, and the, uh, especially track one, on innovations in the, the gene editing space and advanced therapies has been incredibly uh, busy and, and heavily trafficked this morning, but we are also focusing on innovation in CMC, which is the, uh, the overarching theme of track two. And that's also been really, really energetic. The, the meeting has exceeded all our expectations, uh, both in attendees and in, in partner participation. So. I'm hoping you've seen that already on the high energy in the exhibit hall and uh, the, the the strong level of conversation going on. Fantastic. Now, you mentioned the four seasons. Mm -hmm. So you've talked about spring, mm -hmm. and we're here obviously at the National Biotech Biotechnology Conference. Uh, what's in the other seasons then? Well, obviously we have we have a we have the summer coming up. Uh, we have a new conference this summer. We have the Summer Scientific Forum, uh, which is our Midwest centric meeting in terms of being held in Minneapolis this year. It has two tracks: bioanalysis and pharmaceutical analysis. So um, I'm hoping that the folks who are having great conversations here um, this week, especially in the bioanalysis space and pharma analysis space, will carry those forward into the summer. That's very, very much an analytical deep dive uh, conference. So it's, it's very, very data heavy. It's very discussion heavy. It's a boutique conference. And then, of course, rolling into the fall is all built up to FarmSci 360, which is in Orlando this year registration is open as of this week and I'm happy to say people are already registering for it um, there's still time to have posters at the meeting our scientific programming committee for that conference actually meeting this week so they're very very busy looking at submissions but poster abstracts are being still accepted we're super excited about the level of interest in the meeting already and uh, looking forward to that in the fall. And of course, we have great workshops in between. We have a career development workshop next month. Career development is a topic here at this meeting too. We had a fantastic session this morning on intellectual property and what scientists need to know about 
intellectual property. The second half of that session is tomorrow. There's other great stuff going on. So that's a little bit more about what's coming up in our, our year. Fantastic. Look, because I must point out, by the way, that Tina's answering these questions off the cuff because we haven't prepared any questions before we started. <laughs> no, we didn't. So, and you did a great job, actually, Tina. So look, that's fantastic. So have you got any particular highlights for tomorrow before we sort of close up? Which you mentioned um, you tomorrow, I'm, I'm definitely, uh, I, I, I try to sample a little bit of everything. And uh, I want to I wanna go a little bit beyond uh, tomorrow. Uh, into also the Wednesday, I, you know, I mentioned that Joel Dudley opened uh, the conference on with a very, very casting a very wide envelope of what's in the future for us in terms of innovation, including systems biology and looking at uh, therapies of the future from a systems biology uh, point of view. He's uh, basically cast a very wide net starting from genomics. At the end of the conference, we have a super exciting uh, book ending closing plenary with Dr. John Quackenbush from Harvard. Um, he was one of the original genome and bioinformatics pioneers. He will talk about his approaches uh, in in cancer uh, uh, in cancer research using systems biology approaches. So we're kind of bookending the meeting with two very, I would say, visionary presentations that span the the entire field of innovation. And there's a ton of interesting stuff going on in between. Fantastic. And before we close up, I have to ask you about. AAPS's partnership with Interfex, because I will be there this week again. That's wonderful, week. yes. So, for viewers who are not familiar, what is the partnership with Interfex? So, we, thank you for asking. Yeah, we are, um, we're excited to be working with Interfex, and uh, we, we uh, signed a partnership with them that uh, starting next year, AAPS will be the programming partner for Interfex, and we will be uh, guiding them uh, in their scientific programming development. We're actually uh, the chair and the vice chair of a committee that reports to our scientific advisory committee that'll help them program the uh, scientific content of their meetings starting next year. Uh, we'll be visiting Interfax uh, this year, as will our uh, president, Dr. Pat Sinko. And uh, we think it's a fantastic uh, part. Uh, it, it's very complementary uh, to our um, membership and our focus. It'll expand the access of our members to the commercialization field. Uh, attendees of our meeting here this week can attend Inter Interfex for free. So um, there's a lot of folks who are hopefully taking advantage of this as a double header, as we say in sports. and. Uh, after taking in NBC are heading up to the Javits in New York. And I think especially scientists who are um, advancing their career further into the manufacturing and commercialization space, for them it's a fantastic meeting to take in. Uh, lots of great programming and starting next year it'll be part of our umbrella scientifically. So I look forward to it. Fantastic. Well, maybe I'll see you there later in the week. Uh, so there you go viewers. If you are here, obviously check out the rest of the program this week, but mm -hmm. if you're not, then check out the links above the video for all the other events that AAPS are running throughout the year. And obviously, if you're at Interfex this week, come and say hello. So, Tina, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you for taking time to talk to me at short notice, on the cuff. Fantastic. And viewers, thank you for watching. Until next time, as always. Thank you so much, Rizwan. Thank you. As always, stay well and stay safe. Bye-bye.